I just wanted a cup of coffee. Hey, what do you hear? What do you say? My Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, your sister's ass, the pony express, a very thick door thick here. You know what ticks me off? Hotels that do certain things really stupid. Now, follow me. So I just stayed at a hotel in Atlanta for the weekend. I, I really wanted to like this place. I, it was charming. It was clean. It had a nice, comfy area to sit in and, and a, a bar and a restaurant right off the lobby. The rooms were clean. Like I said, I, I really wanted to like it. But here's what went wrong. Okay, first, no rooms have a closet. That's right. No closets in any room in the entire hotel. I had a suite, and I still didn't have a closet. And there was room for a closet or a locker stand uh, alone thing. A anything would have been better than nothing. People need to hang some shit up. Pants, shirts, whatever. Every hotel must have a closet or an armoire or something. So that was disappointing and bullshit. Okay, next. The rooms didn't have a one-cup coffee machine. Even Harry's Hobo Hotel in Shitville has an in-room one-cup coffee machine. You pour in a cup of water, you stick in the pot thing, you push a button, but but but, but not this hotel. Oh, no, they, they had a teapot or a press or, or something that I, I, I literally had to read, it, read the directions for, and then I finally said, fuck this. It, it was so complicated and such a long process that I, that I, I just gave up. And that really pissed me off. I just wanted a cup of coffee. Go Google Kerrig, you fucking hotel momos. And the reason why the lack of an in-room coffee was so important was because of this. The hotel didn't have a coffee station set up anywhere in the lobby. And there was no morning breakfast buffet with a coffee machine to get a to-go cup. No, no, no. They, they had to, you had to sit down and order a $20 egg and toast to, to get a coffee cup filled. And you couldn't take it back to the room because it was a restaurant serving you only if you were seated. And get this, the breakfast started at 7 a.m., but there was a mix-up with the staff, and no one showed up until 8 a.m. Some people get up early and want a cup of coffee before 7 a.m. Not this place. Oh, no. So I walked across the street to McDonald's. Get this. They only allow cars to get served before 8 a.m. at this McDonald's. So I couldn't walk in and get a cup of coffee. I would have to have to order an Uber to come and take me through the drive through across the street. That's how fucked up this was. Put a motherfucking coffee machine in the rooms or a coffee station in the lobby, you fucking morons. The bathrooms had that sliding barn door bullshit instead of a real door. That bothers me. Barn doors don't seal closed. They just slide over the opening. It's like everyone can hear the shit plopping in the water and the grunts and the farts. And I just want to, I want privacy when I go to the fucking bathroom. Put a real fucking door in there, for Christ's sakes. This next one was a little weird. During breakfast, a homeless man walked in and sat down with two people at another table, and he wouldn't leave. There was no staff. There was nothing to stop this guy from coming in. Here's a thought. You're in a homeless part of town, so make all the outer doors only open if a guest uses his room key. You know, like the way every fucking hotel does it. And last but not least, my room was set at 65 degrees with the fan on high. So what happens? In the middle of the night, I'm hot and I have no fan noise to help me sleep, which means the air conditioner wasn't working and the fan wasn't working either. Hey, hey, look, look, fuck it. The place was a little pricey, a little bit, a little bit, and understaffed. But it was clean and nice. As I said, I, I, re I really wanted to like it, but I will never go back there. They fucked up. Not me. Hotels that do certain things stupid. That's what ticks me off.